Hello everyone, this is Eric with Chlorine King Pool Service here in Pinellas County, Florida. I'm out here at a client's home who had asked me to walk him through how the flow of the water works through his filtration system. And I get that quite a bit on my route and I figured it'd be a great topic for video. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, this is a typical residential filtration system. And what I like to look for at first is the pump. Because not only does it give two visual certainties for which side of the system you're working with, whether it be the suction or intake side, or the pressure or return side. It also is where the change in the flow of the water in the system takes place. So as we get closer, you see the pipe coming out into the side of the pump, and then you also see the pipe that comes out of the top of the pump. This pipe, along with everything connected to it, is part of the intake or the suction side. Everything that's connected to this is part of the pressure or return side. So now as we, as we back up, is this starting to make a little more sense in how this works? If not, let me go ahead and explain a little further. So I explained earlier, everything connected to this main pipe right here is part of the intake or suction side. So in this particular pool, we have three pipes. We have one here, we have one here, and we have one here. This particular pool has two main drains. So main drain one, main drain two, and then also the skimmer line. So those three, the water is sucked through those three pipes into the main adjoining pipe and it goes into the side of the pump. So all the debris that is in the main drain or makes it past the skimmer basket gets deposited here in the pump basket. And then from there in the return line it is pushed now. So before we had the water being sucked through here, now we have it being pushed. So now as we walk around, the water is being pushed along this pipe here and it goes in the filter. So the water gets filtered and then it's being pushed out of the side of the filter towards the return lines. Now this particular pool has an autochlorinator or also known in the industry as an erosion feeder. So what you do is you put your pucks or your chlorine tablets in that uh, tube right there and as the water passes through it actually erodes part of the tablet off to give you some residual chlorine to help fight algae. So now as we make our way towards the return lines there's two pipes here. This pipe here goes into the jets that come out of the side of the pool, and this particular pool has a water feature, which is that pipe over there. And the more water features you have, the more pipes you're gonna have branching off on the return side. So if you see a bunch of small pipes, chances are that pool has a bunch of water features. So now that we got that figured out, another confusing part of the filtration system is the valves. So as you see here, these valves are turned all different directions. And so how do you know which way they're on or which way is off? Well, one way is you could just start turning them and see what happens, but a visual cue that's a certainty is the way these ears or tabs of the valves are. If they're in line with the pump or pipe, that means they are on or open. If they're perpendicular to the pipe, that means they're off or closed. So as you see here, every line is open except for that water feature we have here, which is exactly what we want with this particular pool. That's a quick down and dirty way to help navigate the filtration system. If you have any questions or would like us to come out and help you, please give us a call or visit chlorinekingpools.com and we'll be happy to come out and help. We hope you have a great day, everyone.